So you turn on your computer and look pretty excited to start off your day, but instead of booting up to Windows, all you see is a black screen showing some weird error message, initialize library failed. What's even worse, you don't have a recovery USB disk, not even another computer or laptop to make a new recovery USB. So in this video we are going to show you how we can make a bootable USB from your Android phone by using a tiny device called USB on the go or simply OTG. For this tutorial you can use any Android phone, even older ones like this having at least 16 gigs of storage. We'll start off by downloading the official Windows 10 or Windows 11 ISO from Microsoft official website. Just select the right edition and then appropriate language. After downloading your Windows ISO, we are going to download another app from Google Play Store. It's called ISO to USB, which we'll be using to make a bootable USB. To connect USB to your phone, we are going to use this OTG converter. Once you insert the USB disk into your phone, it will show up in the storage section of your Android phone setting. Next, we are going to open the ISO to USB app that we just installed. It's going to detect the USB disk. You need to tap OK and give permission to access USB device. Then you need to tap on Pick ISO and locate the Windows ISO file that you just downloaded from Microsoft website. Once you tap on Start, it will ask you to watch at two times to get two coins in order to start the installation process. Once the installation is done, you can now insert the USB into your computer and boot into Windows Setup to take troubleshooting steps such as startup repair or system restore to recover your faulty Windows 10 or Windows 11. Is another method to make your bootable Windows USB disk, but this one is for advanced users. Head to Play Store and download this app called USB Tools. We'll be using this to format our USB disk drive. Simply plug in the USB disk into your Android phone using exact same method as we did earlier. Tap on Format and tap on Allow Access. Keep in mind we need to select NTFS file system and MBR partition. Once selected, you need two coins to start formatting the, your USB disk. Just follow the procedure. After formatting is done, we need to download another app from Google Play Store called the EXFAT NTFS for USB by Paragon. This time we'll be using this app to mount NTFS file system. This is because by default, Android phones do not support NTFS file systems. To mount, you need to sign in using Google ID to start free trial. It is safe so you don't need to worry. To read and write on the mounted USB disk with NTFS partition, you will be redirected to download this app called Total Commander File Manager. After installation, just tap on User Defined Locations and locate the Volume Label folder that was mounted by Paragon File System and then select it. One last app we need to download from Google Play Store is WinRAR. You need to download it to extract Windows ISO files on your Android phone. Just select your ISO and extract all the files in it to any folder on your phone.
Earlier we mounted our USB disk, simply copy and paste the extracted files into this user defined location which was supposed to be the antifest partition. After copying is done, you can take out USB and plug it into your PC or laptop and continue with the troubleshooting. Thanks for watching, see you.